Hi, I'm Mark from Billsby. Let's take a look at how to integrate Billsby with your Squarespace website. In today's video, we'll look at how to integrate both the Billsby Checkout and Billsby Account Management tools into your Squarespace-powered website so that customers can sign up for a new subscription or manage their existing one without leaving your site. This video assumes that you've already configured your products, plans and cycles in Billsby, configured your brand settings and finished the Getting Started tutorial. It's also important to note that because of limitations Squarespace set on their personal plan, you'll need to be on at least the business plan to use Billsby with Squarespace. If you're on the personal plan, you can upgrade by choosing Settings, Billing and Account, Billing, Website, Change Plan. You'll want to make sure the plan you choose includes complete customization with CSS and JavaScript. Let's start by adding the Billsby header code. We'll need this to make the Billsby buttons throughout your Squarespace website work. To do this, in Squarespace, navigate to Settings, Advanced, Code Injection. Then, in your Billsby control panel, navigate to Settings, Embed Codes. Press the Copy Code button next to the code in the first box, labelled in the header of your website or application, then paste this code into Squarespace. Next, return to the Squarespace homepage. We're now going to add a subscribe button. This will let customers subscribe to the products, plans and cycles we've selected in our Billsby account. In Squarespace, open the page where you'd like to place the subscribe button in editing mode, then add a new code block. Go back to the embed code page in Billsby and copy the subscribe button embed code. Then paste it into Squarespace. We now have a subscribe link, but it doesn't look like a button, so let's add some styling to make it really stand out. After the A, type in class equals speech mark sqs dash block dash button dash element dash dash large then a space sqs dash block dash button dash element finally let's finish that code with another speech mark and a space for most squarespace templates this will make our subscribe link inherit the same styling as all of the other buttons on the website and if you change the button style down the line, it'll automatically update. You can change the subscribe title to say whatever you want by changing the code here. We can also center the button if we'd like. At the start of the code, type in left chevron center right chevron, then cut the closing center tag that's automatically added and paste it at the end of the code, then press apply. Now, in the top left-hand corner, choose Done and Save. You can press the button to see it working. Next, let's create an Account button. So there's a way for existing subscribers to manage their account. The easiest way to do this is to go back to our Subscribe button, hit Edit and copy all of the code we made before. Then, as we did last time, add a new content block with the code type where you'd like the Account button to appear Change the text here to say something like manage my account and change the button type here to account then press apply. Choose done and save to save the page as we did before and then you can give it a try. Remember you can put these buttons wherever you'd like throughout your website and there's even ways to make special buttons that link to specific products, plans and cycles, or specific account management functions like cancellation. If you need any help with this, start by consulting the Embed Codes page in your Billsby account, which has all the details and code samples that you can use, or for more help, choose the Help and Docs menu, where you'll find lots of documentation and advice. For help with custom code, start with our community. By asking a question here, you'll get help both from other customers and the Billsby team. But for now, you're all set. I hope this guide helps you to figure out embedding Billsby into your Squarespace website. Best of luck with your new subscription business.